Hi there, I'm Dion Winter, and I'm here with Jocelyn Olivier at the Healus Neuro Rehab Center and Alive and Well Institute for Conscious Body Work. Today we're gonna to be demonstrating the ABA muscle testing protocol that is the essential problem solving tool used in neuromuscular reprogramming. Really excited to share this piece of work with you. It comes from Touch for Health, which is a complete system of body work. Um, and Jocelyn has been developing the application of this tool for over 35 years here in Mill Valley. ABA muscle testing allows us to discover dysfunctional relationships between two or more muscles. We'll just be demonstrating two muscles today at a time. Start simple. Um, if you're familiar with muscle testing, then you know that sometimes muscles test weak in the clear. And by in the clear, I mean you test a muscle all on its own and it fails all on its own. So for a lot of people, the low traps are a great example. Hold your arm down to the ground here for me. This muscle is weak all on its own. And in order to correct it, I would need to discover what muscles are inhibiting it. That's one situation that's possible. Another situation is that muscles are reactive to each other. So sometimes you'll have a muscle that tests strong in the clear, step down for me, like this glute max. But when you fire it against another muscle, relax for me, like the iliacus, pull towards your belly button, and then go back and fire it again, step down to the floor, now the muscle's failing. So I tested muscle A, glute max, then I tested muscle B, iliacus, and both of those were strong. When I went back to test muscle A, glute max, it failed. So these muscles are having a sequential firing problem where when iliacus contracts, it doesn't release afterwards, it stays in contraction. So that when you go to fire glute max, the reciprocal muscle, glute max can't function properly because it can't leverage against a contracted iliacus. So I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do a release on iliacus here. Just getting inside the iliac crest, and it doesn't take too much. I just need to inhibit the muscle for a moment. I'm doing a little traction on the leg here. And let's go back and see if glute max is working better now. So step down to the table for me, good. I'm gonna try that one more time. Step down, good, perfect. Now it's working well on its own, but that was already the case. It was only having a problem when we fired it against, glute ma against iliacus. Pull towards your belly for me, good. Iliacus is back online. Step down to the table and glute max is strong again. So we call this our challenge round. So first we tested A, B, A in sequence and we found a failed muscle test. We released the facilitated muscle and after that, we do a challenge round where again, we test ABA in sequence. So now Jocelyn can go back and forth all day. Pull towards your belly button, iliacus, step down to the floor, glute max, pull towards your belly, iliacus, step down to the floor, glute max. These are all strong and they'll keep being strong. So now she can do an activity like walking upstairs where she'll engage her iliacus and glute max in alternation for every step and be successful at that activity. So this tool is a very simple tool that can be used to resolve dysfunctional muscle relationships between any two muscles by testing those muscles three times, A, then B, then A. When you find a weak test, you go back and release the reciprocal muscle. And then again, challenge the relationship when you're done by testing A, B, A in sequence. If they all are strong, then you know there's no longer a dysfunctional relationship between those muscles. The body is a very complex place and there are lots of dysfunctional muscle relationships. So it's a simple tool for a complex problem. If you wanna learn more, find out about our classes. We've got a lot of material on this subject and try it out with your clients because it's a really exciting way to solve complex problems long-term to get people permanent results.